Hi guys, it's Victoria and welcome to today's video. Since we are quarantined and all we can really do is watch Netflix and YouTube, I thought I would give you some suggestions of ideas and stuff for you to watch on Netflix. So there's going to be 20 shows and 20 movies. So you better get ready. Show number one is Grey's Anatomy. Now this is my favorite show ever. Um, it is so good and I feel like I'm a trained surgeon now. Like if somebody like needs surgery, I can be like, I got you. I watched 16 seasons. Um, but yeah, and it's very long so it's going to be very good to binge, wa binge watch during quarantine if you have not seen it yet. Number two is Criminal Minds, and this is one of Luke and I's favorite shows. Um, we watched this together, and the last thing we watched was the end of season 12, I think, because we haven't, that was like all it was on Netflix. I'm going to see if it's on YouTube TV, though, if any of the newer seasons are on there, so that maybe we can watch it and finish up. But yeah, we love that show. It was so good, and it's definitely binge-worthy. Number three is Private Practice, and this is the show that Luke and I are currently watching, and we really like it. So if you've seen Grey's Anatomy, then you'll probably like this one. So it's basically Addison Montgomery's life after she goes to um, California. So it's just their whole like practice and stuff, and it just kind of shows her life with some other people. And I think it's really cool because it's like Grey's Anatomy, but it's like a different side of it and if you don't know who Addison Montgomery is she's just a character that was in Grey's Anatomy but then she like left the hospital and stuff like that long story number four is how to get away with murder now I was watching this for a while I think I got into like season two or something and then I just kind of like stopped watching it because I kind of forgot about it but I might start watching it again during this quarantine but it was a good show at least the first season that I saw I remember it was really like really had me hooked and I know that there's it's still going on so that's probably something that would be really good to binge watch too. Number five is Jane the Virgin. I'm still watching this one but um, so far it's really good. I'm only on season two because I'm really bad at watching things. I get caught up on YouTube and then I kind of forget but yeah I definitely really like it so far and it's really good. It's basically about a girl who got artificially inseminated and it's kind of just like her life and I think it's really cool. Number six is um, a different kind of show. This is Sugar Rush and it's a Netflix show. Um, it's just like a baking show and Luke and I watch this one. We love to watch baking shows like dessert things though like not like regular baking like we like exclusively watch dessert videos and for some reason we just love them. Like I don't know what it is but we get so hooked and then one night we were watching them and I wanted cake pops so bad because this girl was making cake pops. And so we went all around town. We went to Walmart to try to find them. We went to Kroger, couldn't find them. So then eventually we just went to Starbucks, but I wanted to try somewhere else first to see if we can find any others. And then we got some cake too because when you're watching a baking show, you need to eat something baked. You know, it's just what you gotta do. Number seven is Zumbo's Just Desserts. This is also a dessert baking show that Luke and I have watched, and it's basically the same thing. You have bakers, they bake stuff, you know, they get eliminated, whatever, get a prize at the end. It's a really good show, and it really makes me hungry. Number eight is Gossip Girl. Now, I've never, like, actually watched this. I think I watched, like, a few episodes, and I never really got into it, but I've heard a lot of people love it, and everybody thinks that it's super good, so I'm gonna recommend it anyway if you know, that's something that maybe you would like. I never really gave it a chance though, so maybe I'll try again, but I'm really not sure. Number nine is Santa Clarita Diet, and there's only two seasons of this one. Um, and the last episode of season two is such a cliffhanger because there was supposed to be a season three, but then they canceled it. This is one that Luke and I watched, and we loved this one. It was so good, and if you like... I don't know how to explain it without giving the entire thing away. Um, but it's a little gory, but it is so good. And I never wanted to watch it because I thought it was kind of like going to be bad. And then I like actually read the description. I was like, oh my God, we need to watch this. So look and I watched it. We've binged it probably in like a week. Um, 
it was just so good and it has Drew Barrymore in it so number 10 is the Fosters if you have not seen this one I definitely recommend it's super good um, and it's basically just about a bunch of like foster kids and it's just I don't even know how to explain it. It's just a really good show. Number 11 is Switched at Birth. Again, this is an old one, but it is really good. Both of The Fosters and Switched at Birth, all of the seasons are on Netflix, so you don't have to go try to find them anywhere else because they're already over. But Switched at Birth is just about two girls who were literally switched at birth, and then they find each other, and yeah, it's pretty cool. And one of them is deaf, and... You learn a little sign language while you're watching it, so I think it's pretty cool. Number 12 is The Vampire Diaries. Now, this one is a classic, another one of my favorite shows. Um, it's not your cheesy Twilight kind of um, vampire story. And Nina Dobrev, I swear to God, she is so beautiful, I cannot even, but... I don't know, it's just a really good show. Um, a lot of people think it's, like, stupid and are like, Oh, I don't want to watch a vampire show. And, like, one of my friends, like... She didn't want to watch it, and I was like, just try. And then she got hooked, so... Number 13 is The Originals, and this one is... It's The Vampire Diaries, but with, like, the Michelson family, so all the ones, all the people in New Orleans, it's their story, so it's, like, another half of Vampire Diaries. It kind of reminds me of Private Practice and Grey's Anatomy. Having so much trouble explaining these shows, like, get... Why? <laughs> Number 14 is Legacies. This is a, like, kind of like a spinoff of the originals. Um, I think, I think it might be about Klaus and, um, What's-Her-Face's daughter, but I'm not for sure. I think it's younger people and, um, one of the guys, I don't remember his name. Alaric. I don't know. One of the old ones. Um, he, like, teaches them, like, stuff. I don't know. It's just another part of the Vampire Diaries and stuff like that. I haven't watched that one yet, but I'm, I've heard it's good and it's part of that series, so I'm sure it will be good. It's made by the same people. Number 15 is The Flash. Um, I'm not a huge fan of like superhero movies and stuff and I like really just am not interested in them, but this show was actually really good and it's really entertaining and gets you hooked because there's always suspense and stuff making you keep watching. I haven't seen the newer seasons of this. I've only seen what was on Netflix and I think there are newer ones on Netflix now so I might have to not go binge watch those but it's definitely a really good show and yeah. Number 16 is Arrow. This is another superhero type movie or type show and um, there are some like crossover episodes with Arrow and The Flash and it's another really good one. Um, it's suspenseful keeps you hooked. I haven't watched it in a while and I don't know what seasons I've seen and what seasons I haven't, but I know that I haven't seen the new one. Number 17, I have to throw this one in there because it's victorious. It's a classic. I love Nickelodeon and Disney and, um, you know, I felt like I needed to put this one in there just because when I was little, everyone would call me Tori Vega because I go by Tori, like, with, like, my, like, people I know, but I decided to, like, be on YouTube as Victoria. I don't know, but I do get called Tori quite a bit, so if you ever hear that in my videos, that's why, but, yeah, people would call me Tori Vega, and I was like, I feel like I just need to put it in there. Number 18 is H2O, and I love this show. It's about three girls who turn into mermaids and there's like this whole island and stuff and I just think it's so good and I definitely recommend watching it. Um, yeah, it's really good. Number 19 is Cheer and if you have not heard of this one, where have you been? It's been all over the place. It's about the Navarro Cheer team and they go to Daytona and it's super cool and I would recommend watching this just because they didn't get to go to Daytona this year because of the coronavirus and it's really sad that they didn't get to but it shows like last year and stuff like that and it's super good and even if you don't like cheer I'm sure that you will love it. Number 20 is New Girl. This is about a girl who ends up living with four, three other guys? Something like that and it was a really good show. Um, it was funny. 
And yeah, so if you're looking for something to like lighten the mood, make you laugh a little bit, I definitely recommend that one. So now we have the movies that I'm going to share with you. Number one is To All the Boys I've Loved Before. That one's a classic. It's a chick flick on Netflix. A lot of these are going to be chick flicks because that's what I like to watch and Luke and I watch a lot of these together. Number two is The Kissing Booth. That one's another classic chick flick, you know. It's great. I really like it um, and I recommend Number three is 47 Meters Down, and this is my type of scary movie because I don't like the ghost type scary movies because that's like real stuff and that like really freaks me out. I like the scary movies that are like suspenseful and stuff like that, but like the ones with like the ghosts in it and stuff, mm, I don't like that. Like the demons, mm -mm. But this is about girls that go like in the shark thing and yeah, it's got a lot of jump scares. I watched this with my friend Kirsten and um... It definitely had us screaming a few times. Number four is The Spectacular Now. I watched this one a while ago. I'm pretty sure it's another chick flick. I can't remember if I watched this with Luke or not, but I know that I watched it. I can't remember exactly what it's about, but I remember it being really good, so. I want to give an update on this one. Um, Luke said that we didn't watch it together. He doesn't remember it. Uh, I can't remember exactly what it's about, but the girl that's in it is the same girl that plays Hazel in The Fault in Our Stars, so... Number five is going to be perfect for you if you love to hear about um, serial killers. So this one is a Ted Bundy movie. It's called uh, Extremely Wicked, Shock Shockingly Evil, and Vile, and it's a classic. It's really good. Number six is Someone Great. This has the actress from Jane the Virgin in it, and it's super good. Um, I'm not for sure. I can't remember what it was about, but I clearly I sucked at filming this video. But I'm pretty sure it was like her getting over a breakup and stuff like that. Um, yeah, I remember it being really good. So check it out. Number seven is Valentine's Day. This one has Taylor Swift and Taylor Lautner in it, and I love this movie as a kid. Number eight is Bolt, and I don't know why I love this movie so much, but I literally love it. I made Luke watch it with me once over the summer. Um, I just texted him one day, and I was like, let's watch Bolt. And he was like, okay. So yeah, it's a really good movie. It's a cartoon, kind of. It's a Disney movie, and it is so good. Number nine is Barbie Dolphin Magic. Um, I low-key, um, high-key, love Barbie. Um, I watch the Barbie shows. I've watched the Barbie movies and this one is about Barbie and dolphins and the dolphins are like purple and like different colors and um what else is there to say? Number 10 is Naomi and Eli's No Kiss List. So this one is super duper good. Um was it super duper good? I don't remember. I just remember watching this one with Luke. Um it's another chick flick. Number 11 is Reality High. I watched this one on the plane to Florida one year, but it's just like about a social media star um, in high school and stuff like that, and I think it's really relatable and stuff, so check it out. Number 12 is Riptide, and this one has Debbie Ryan in it, and she goes to live with her aunt like in California or something like that, and it's just like about her living there. I think it's super good. Number 13 is He's Out There. It's another scary movie that I made Luke watch with me, um, but... I thought it was a scary one. Number 14 is Abiza Love Drunk. I don't remember exactly what this one's about, but I'm, I remember like these, this group of girls, was like two or three, went to Abiza and yeah. 15 is Pets 2. This one is super good. It's, if you have seen Pets, you know what it is. I'm sure you know what it is anyway. It's like a cartoon about dogs. Number 16 is Secret Obsession. Luke and I watched this one together and it was really good and I really liked it. Um, it was really suspenseful. It was about, it has Brenda's song in it and it was basically about her like getting hit by a car or something and this guy pretends to be her husband but he killed her husband. I don't know. It's a long story but it's really good. Number 17 is You Get Me and this one's kind of like a stalker one that Kirsten and I watched together and it's also really good. This one has Bella Thorne in it. Number 18 is The Babysitter. It's also a scary one but it's my kind of scary it's like suspenseful and like jump scares and stuff like that and that's the kind of scary that i like this one also has bella thorne 19 is shark boy and lava girl it's one of my favorite movies since i was a child um it's a disney movie i think um definitely recommend for 20 is the princess switch this is kind of a wintry one and luke and i watched this one together um all i have to say about it to get you to watch it is that it has vanessa hudgens in it but twice because She's a twin, so. 
I hope my suggestions gave you some ideas to watch while you are in quarantine. If you liked this video, give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below because I post videos every Sunday and you don't want to miss one. So yeah, all my social medias are down below. Also, I have a vlog channel. I'm posting guinea pig videos every Wednesday. And also, I hit 200 subscribers. So thank you guys so much. That's a big milestone and hopefully we can continue growing. And I will see you guys next week.